Okay, everyone, we're going to do the letters of the Hebrew alphabet, and we're going to learn how to write them cursive, because nobody writes Hebrew in block capitals. We read it like that in the Siddur and in the Torah. However, when it comes to writing, we always write in cursive. So let's go through the letters of the Hebrew alphabet and learn how to write them in cursive. I'm going to go letter by letter. I'm going to start with the block uh, letter and then the cursive uh, version of it. So the first letter we'll look at, of course, is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is the letter Aleph, which is drawn a so, like this, usually, okay? And in the cursive, it's going to appear as a straight line with this letter over here and lands on the line. That is Aleph. Next, we have Bet. Bet is the second letter and appears like so when it appears in the Torah. And when it appears as a cursive letter, it occurs with a letter like that. Now, when it has a dot in it, it's called a dagesh, that's a b sound, so it's a b, and it appears like this and like this. So that's letter aleph and then bet. Sometimes it appears so when the letter is missing, the dot is missing from inside. If that occurs, it's not a b sound, it's a v sound, it's a v, and obviously the connecting letter in the script will appear as so, and that'll be empty as well. And the way to remember that is it's now vacant. So it's a V sound, a V sound. Okay, next letter. Next letter is the Gimel. Now the Gimel is going to appear like this inside the Torah itself, like so. Okay, that's how it will generally appear. However, in script, it looks completely different, and it's going to appear like this, a line over here, and it comes over like that. That is the Gimel. So, Gimel. So it's Aleph, Bet, Vet, and Gimel. Next, we have the Dalet, and the Dalet is going to appear as a top front, like so, and then it comes down over here with a little piece over there. That's the Dent. But in cursive, in script Hebrew, it's going to appear like so, coming down like that. That is how you write a dalad in Hebrew. Okay, so block and the script. Next, you have a hey. Hey is a very famous letter. It appears like so, coming down over here with a door coming down over there. That is the letter hey. And in script, it's going to be a little bit more curly. It occurs like this that and like that. That is the hey, more of a curved um, uh, style when it comes to the, the hey itself. Following that we have a vav and the vav is not that different from the other letter. It appears in the Torah like so and it's going to appear like so uh, in script as well, just a straight line going down. Now the zayin is a little bit more different, a little bit tricky. So in the Torah, it's going to appear a little zigzag like that. That's how the Zion appears. However, in script, it's the flip of the Gimel. The Gimel is going to go this way. The Zion is going to be more of a five shape, more of a five shape. And it's going to appear like that. That is a Zion. So you have Aleph, Bet, Vet, Gimel, Dalid, He, Vav, Zion, Zion. Next, we have the Chet. The Chet appears so, like that, more square on top in the Torah. And in the script cursive version, it just kind of like sweeps over like that. It's more rounded, and that's how it appears uh, cursive. Next, we have the Tet. The Tet is, in, in block capitals, usually appears like this, and it comes over here like that, and comes down like that. That is generally how the tet is going to look in the Torah or in a Siddur. And in script, again, it's more cursive. It just comes out like that and goes out like that. That's usually how the tet looks. And finally, we'll finish with the 10th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. That is the letter Yud, which is pretty much the same. It appears in the Torah like this, floating up like that, floating notice above the line. And in script, it's kind of much the same, just like a little chiplet like that. So there you have your 10 letters, Aleph, Bet, Vet, Gimel, Dalid, He, Vav, Zion, Chet, Tet, and Yud. Okay, those are the first 10 letters of the Hebrew alphabet in block 
and in cursive.